Hi, babes. So I know I have a lot of you on here who want to learn more about feminine energy things and maybe tweaking things that you already do from day to day and making it feel more feminine. And I love talking about the biology and differences between men and women and uh, dating and relationships. Like that's a huge passion of mine. But I don't want to negate the fact that I also love to teach about femininity and these things almost kind of sometimes just just float on past my mind because um, it's just something so normal to me that I forget that a lot of you it hasn't been normal for you know um, maybe since you were a child it hasn't been normal for you and you want to learn more about embracing that so let's talk a little bit more about feminine energy things on this channel and I do have men on here as well so I don't like to uh, target specifically men or specifically just women so I try to keep a balance of content for just the girlies and then content more for both men and women but hopefully you guys can hold me more accountable to um, discussing more feminine things uh, things that you specifically want to learn more about okay so for today, let's go ahead and talk about things that you can do uh, to feel feminine in the gym. And it may sound kind of silly, but once upon a time, I was a girl who was addicted to going to the gym, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, I was really, really hardcore into working out. And um, little did I know that that was the opposite of embracing femininity. Okay, so just to start, if you are a lady who does like to go to the gym to do your workouts, that's great. But are you doing it in a feminine way and embracing in a feminine energy? Or are you um, accomplishing it in a more masculine energy? So what that means is that by going to the gym and doing it femininely, um, you're going just to, you know, keep up with your health, um, your exercising habits, you know, just keep an overall good body shape, keep a fit figure, you know, you're not really trying to bulk up or, you know, build certain parts of your body. And on the contrary, the more masculine way is, you know, you're going in on a Monday and you're bulking up your arms, you're going in on Tuesday, you know, uh, concentrating on your legs, you know, you're going in on a Thursday and maybe doing a lot of HIIT workouts. And that's not to say that you can't do these things um, and still be embracing your feminine energy, but ask yourself, what are the goals that you're trying to hit? Because when I was addicted to working out <laughs> literally every day, multiple times a day, um, it was because I was really, really trying to build a lot of strength and power and I just wanted to like accomplish this fit figure. I wanted to know that I could, you know, have a workout regimen just like a guy. And honestly, I was destroying my hormones, which I'm going to get into. Okay, so before I get into that, second tip for feeling feminine in the gym is um, pay attention to what you're wearing. And you guys know here on this channel, I am a huge proponent of embracing fashion, okay, wearing feminine things, wearing feminine dresses, skirts, feminine clothing overall. Yes, you can wear athletic dresses to the gym. Yes, you can embrace bright colors, more feminine, fun colors while you're working out. And yes, you probably will stand out depending on where you live and how big your gym is. But majority of people, regardless, are going to be in there in these like baggy gray uh, either sweatshirts or baggy gray t-shirts, uh, their boyfriend's t-shirts, uh, sweatpants or really, really tight Lululemon pants. Just all that really like cliche overpriced, if you ask me, um, very uncomfortable athletic clothing. So please don't be afraid to play with the colors, play with the prints um, and play with athletic dresses if you're going to the gym. This is going to help you to feel more feminine. I honestly wear dresses to the gym all the time. Um, you know those cute little like tennis skirt dresses or even like a, a tennis skirt itself. Um, and get 
playful and get elegant and get flirty and feminine with your shoes, right? Something you might not even think of is, you know, taking your um, just plain, maybe boring white pair of sneakers and putting on some cute, frilly, feminine shoestrings on them. <laughs> and try to keep your workouts to be more lighter weights and maybe higher reps and introducing more cardio into your routine. You know, I used to be really influenced by the fit influencers and just trying to get that really fit figure. But please remember that men appreciate body fat on women. And no, obviously not obnoxious, overweight, obese body fat. Obviously, that's not healthy. But having a little bit of body fat actually signals to men that you are feminine. Real masculine men don't typically like women that are super toned and super bulky and um, just have a more masculine figure. That's, that's not really attractive to them. Because if we're talking about it from an evolutionary standpoint, having a little bit of like a belly pooch on the lower tummy that us women do have, that signals that you are healthy and can hold a baby in your womb. You know, body fat is estrogen, and that's why uh, too much body fat in men makes men more feminized because body fat is estrogen, and estrogen is obviously the female hormone. So don't focus too much on getting the most toned and fit, perfect figure like I once used to try to accomplish. <laughs> um, it's just not healthy. Okay, next, going back to the hormones, and this is the most important one is that when you are deciding that you want to hit the gym at least three or four times a week, please make sure you are attuned to your cycle. Now, I'm speaking from a place of experience, okay, because I was not attuned to my cycle. My hormones were all imbalanced. Um, I didn't know what was going on in my body. I just knew that I wanted to work out and get really, really fit, but that is the wrong way because it was actually disrupting my hormones even more. There are criteria for us women when we decide we want to work out regularly. We can't just work out like men. You know, men's hormonal cycle is every 24 hours. Ours is every 28 days. So we have to really, you know, factor that in and attune those workouts to our cycle. So the first day of your cycle is um, the first day that you start. And so um, obviously you're not going to feel like your most vibrant, energetic self. You're going to feel more lethargic. You're going to feel like you need a little bit more rest. Your hormones are at their lowest point, I believe. And um, so you, if you do decide that you want to get up and get moving, uh, just make sure you are doing a really, really light workout. You know, maybe just taking a walk around your neighborhood or taking a, a walk on the treadmill. No running, no high intensity interval training maybe some easy stretches, keep it light because your body is really counting on you um, resting and taking good care of it while you are releasing an egg. Okay, I'm not gonna get all into the phases of the cycle and how you should be working out, but there are many charts out there for that but obviously after your period is over you can incorporate more high interval training you know you can do more intense workouts things like things like that so it's really really important that you factor all those in when you are working out regularly um, because if not again you will disrupt your hormones and that's going to strip your femininity okay and one of the last tips for embracing feminine energy in the gym is one um dance around while you're working out. And I know <laughs> this takes a special kind of confidence to just like be in your own little world with your earbuds in and just kind of dancing along, you know, really flowing your body, moving it, keeping that movement going. That is ultra feminine. Um, but don't be afraid to just like in between your reps, just dance a little bit. You know, that's honestly what I do. Do I care if anybody's watching? No, I don't. <laughs> they can watch. I'll give them a good show. Um, it's fun. It keeps my energy light. It keeps, it makes it more fun for me to, you know, be in there and be working out, especially in between reps where I have to really be more uh, structural with it. Um, just dancing in between and making it fun. Just keep that body moving. Super feminine. Okay, and the last thing to say 
here is don't go to the gym. Um, switch it up. Keep it exciting. Keep it fun for you. Keep it playful. So I will personally go to the gym maybe once or twice a week. And then it, when the weather is nice and it's sunny, and especially when it's springtime or summertime, I will go outside in the yard, in the grass, run around, dance, uh, jump on the trampoline, just do outside activities. Sometimes even do like gym stuff outside in the yard. Um, but just find a way to make it more playful while getting that gracious hit of vitamin D, that beautiful sunshine that God has gifted to us. I mean, there's nothing better. Honestly, there's nothing better. So that's a good way to keep it fun and switch things up a bit. Just go outside, play out there. Um, you will feel so much better by getting a hit of sunshine anyways. So I hope that that was helpful for you and that you're inspired to get active while also feeling feminine in doing so, okay? And you guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Of course, send me a DM or an email if you have any particular questions that you need a little bit more guidance and help in um, exploring through. My DMs and emails are always open, so... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say today. And until the next video, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.